Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today, I wanna show you what I have behind me. And this is a 48 volt lithium iron phosphate golf cart battery. Now, if you've ever replaced your lead acid batteries with one of these lithium iron phosphate golf cart batteries, you do know that they have a lot of benefits. They have a lot of protections. They have a screen that you can see the state of charge. And on top of all that, they weigh so much less. I want to say this one weighs around 100 to 110 pounds when all of your lead acid batteries could easily weigh over three to 400 pounds. But that's not what this video is really all about. If you do have one of these lithium iron phosphate golf cart batteries and uh, well either like your golfing season is over or you're just anticipating uh, some really bad weather and you might think that your electricity is going to go out you could easily connect a 48 volt uh, off-grid inverter to this battery and you could power your essential items for possibly days. So let's go ahead and look at this golf cart battery in particular and then I'll kind of show you what you can use it for besides powering your golf cart. Okay, so what I have here is the ALSK 51.2 volt nominal 105 amp hour lithium iron phosphate golf cart battery. And the items that you would get with this golf cart battery, you would also get a monitor and a uh, pretty much a, a bracket that would hold the monitor that you could bolt actually down onto your golf cart. You would get a 20 amp charger that goes along with it. You would get some, uh, some installation bolts and screws. Um, it does come with a silicone sucker. Uh, that is for your smartphone to kind of put up on your dash or, your, uh, or on your windshield because this battery, um, it does have Bluetooth connection. Um, it also comes with your documentation like your manual, your manual for your Bluetooth, a warranty card, a quick connection guide, which is really nice because this tells you exactly how to connect it uh, to your golf cart, even though that's not really what we're talking about. And then there's also some precautions before you use it. On the side here, what you can see is we have our positive and our negative connections that go to, uh, well, our golf cart or for what we're gonna use it for, for an off-grid inverter. Uh, we also have our power switch right here. We have our RS-485 connection, which connects to the smart battery monitor LCD. And then we also have a vent hole right here. And on the bottom of this battery, we do have a built-in bracket so you can actually bolt it down somewhere. On top of the battery, we do have two spring-loaded handles. And besides that, there's really nothing else to it. Now, I already tested this battery out. I tested the capacity. It does say that it can hold up to 105 amp hours. When I did my test, it gave me 108 amp hours. So it did pass that. And when it comes to the battery management system or the BMS in this battery pack, it can handle 200 amps of continuous discharge. So some of you might be thinking 200 amps, that doesn't really mean anything. Well, what that equates to is if you multiply 200 amps by 51.2 volts, you get the maximum continuous amount of watts that this thing can push out. And that comes out to over 10,000 watts. Now to put that into some sort of perspective, a usual a, a window air conditioner usually pumps out about 700 watts. Your kitchen refrigerator usually pushes out about what, two to 300 watts. Or even if you use something like an air fryer or a pizzazz pizza oven, or even an electric heater, those usually pump out about 1500 watts. That won't even make this thing hiccup. So this battery has plenty of output power when it comes to your essential devices when you have a power outage. So if you're still not really sure that you should use your golf cart battery, your lithium iron phosphate golf cart battery, as, uh, as a battery for an off-grid inverter, because you're just like, I, you know, I don't feel like this is the same thing as a, uh, you know, like a server rack battery or something like that. Let's go ahead and open up the top and that way I can show you the inside and kind of show you that it's all the, it's all the same essential parts. Uh, they might just be arranged differently. So let's go ahead and open it up. All right, 
inside, when I opened up the top, this ALSK battery did have this, uh, the little vinyl shield right here and it had four screws holding it in and it also has a quality control pass sticker right here which is always nice to see so let's go ahead and take this off and you can see that it looks exactly the same as like a server rack battery we have our 16 cells right here it looks like the bus bars are screwed in and laser welded in which is great uh, we can see each of our balance leads on the bus bars the bus bars do have uh, that hump in them so they can uh, adjust for expansion and contraction of the cells. Uh, each one of the balance leads is glued down along with being screwed, so that's a really great thing to see. Um, I like how everything is zip tied up and very the wiring is very well managed. Over here is where your BMS is. Uh, right here on top, that is the, uh, the Bluetooth controller. All right, let me, uh, let me shine a flashlight down here so we can see a little bit better. First of all, I want to show you that the uh, red, the blue, and the black cables, the red one is our positive going from the cells to the terminal. This blue one is the negative going from the cells to the BMS. And then this black one is the negative going from the BMS to the terminal. Uh, all of those are four gauge wires, so they are plenty thick. And you can also, I don't know if you can see it down there, but there is a shunt which will monitor the amperage going through the BMS so it will know exactly the state of charge. I also like the fact that any kind of connection is glued down so everything will stay in place. So overall, the build of this battery is really good. And as you can see, this would look just like a server rack battery, it's just in a different case. All right, now that I got this thing put back together, let's go ahead and just connect up a small 2000 watt inverter just to show you what all it can do. And even though these golf cart batteries usually have an on off switch on them, which this one is currently off, it's always good practice to connect your cables to your inverter first and then connect them to your battery source. All right, now that I got this 2000 watt pure sine wave inverter connected to this big old battery, uh, you know, just connecting the positive to the positive terminal and the negative to the negative terminal. We're going to go ahead and connect up a thousand watt heat plate. I got it plugged in already, so let's go ahead and first turn on the battery. And then we can go ahead and turn on our inverter. And then let's go ahead and turn the hot plate on. All right, we got the hot plate on high. And we can see on our inverter that we are using 1031 watts or 1022. It'll keep fluctuating. Uh, but the battery, we're only using about 20 to 21 amps. And remember, this battery can handle up to 200 amps. So that means, seriously, you could probably connect nine of these hot plates up before this battery would have any issues whatsoever. And at its current rate, the monitor says that we could run this hot plate for 5 hours and 11 minutes. So that's what your golf cart battery can deliver for you when you have something like this 48 volt 105 amp hour lithium iron phosphate battery. And like I said before, this golf cart battery from Ausk, it also has Bluetooth functionality. So let's go ahead and open up the app. And you can see on the app, uh, that it does show our state of charge just like the monitor does. It does say the uh, estimated empty time and it says 5 hours and 13 minutes. Running at this current draw from this hot plate over here and on the app you can actually see that our voltage of the battery is 52.5. The current being drawn from it is 20.7 to 20.9 amps and that makes it a power of 1000 99 watts being drawn from this battery and this also does show you the current temperatures in Celsius and Fahrenheit for all the temperature sensors and at the top it does show you that the charging is on and it says discharge MOS which means uh, the discharging is on also the only thing that this app doesn't show you is the voltages of the individual cells and that's what's nice about that monitor so I hope this video gave you a little bit more information. Just knowing that your golf cart battery can be used for more than just powering your golf cart. You can connect up a small inverter 
and be able to power the essentials of your home when your power is actually out. And I wanted to thank Oust for sending me this golf cart battery so I could make this video to be able to show you all of the options that you could do and all of the options that this battery comes with. So thank you so much for watching this video. Uh, if you have any questions about anything that I did, please go ahead and leave them in the comments. I'll have a link to all these items in my description just in case you want to look further into them. Thank you so much and have a great day. Bye-bye.